one step away from me? Party! Our family that drinks together stays together. Because we have to, because we're in quarantine! Today, on Baking with Jay in Self-Isolation Quarantine Edition, we are doing drunk! Baking with Jay. Not get drunk I know. With this. It, you know what? You don't know my tolerance. Hello. Today we are here with another episode of Baking with Jay in isolation slash quarantine slash isolation. We are making Kentucky pecan pie because apparently pecan pie is from Kentucky. Mom is currently chopping pecans. You need one cup of them so that's what she's doing and then me and you are gonna do the rest of it you have one third cup of butter which we need to go melt so we're gonna do that what are you putting that in for 45 seconds no how long okay well that's melting we're gonna get one cup of packed brown sugar we all know how good i am at packing brown sugar so you need one cup of packed brown sugar into the bowl. Now that your butter is melted, you're going to pour it into your sugars. So that's in there now. This is not open and I don't know how to open things because I am baby. Ah. One third tablespoon even exists. I don't think a one third teaspoon exists and I can't do math. So, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh, Where is this? Is that throwing you off? Yeah, I don't know how to do this. So what would you do? I don't know. I don't do math. Also, can you open this? Thanks. So, how, how do you think you... I don't know, and that is stressful, and I'm not in school right now. We are in baking. Are you stressed? Yes. Did you look through every one of these? Yes. You have... I don't care. I don't care. Okay. I just do it. I don't care. Do one quarter, okay? And then... About half of that. Half of this? Do one of those. One. And then about half of that. One third salt into the thing. I'm going to trade you so you can have a full cup of these. Because you have to have a cup of syrup. Oh, that's not a cup. No, honey. What else have you messed up? That. I did three quarters. So if you have three quarters, what do you need to make one? One quarter! I can do math. Well, this is how we bake in this house. No, this is how you bake in this house. We're good at math. Who put that in front of me so I assumed that that was the correct measurement because you usually don't trust me enough I put to one do in it front myself. Of you. We're supposed to use white corn syrup, but we didn't have any of that, so we're using dark corn syrup, mm. golden corn syrup, which is, is the same thing. You need a cup of that. into your sugar, salt, butter mixture. You're gonna get me a spatula. Watch. <laughs> I know her. Spatula it all out so that you don't miss any of it and you get all the syrupy goodness. Then you're gonna mix it all together. Stirring, we're stirring, we're stirring. My hands are sticky because I put it in the syrup. Okay, so now that you have your syrup done, put it to the side. You take three eggs. You're going to slightly beat them. Do I know what that means? No. But we're going to do it. It's on the outside of the bowl. <laughs> Good job. Baker in this house. It's all over my hands, it's all too. all over the counter because you didn't you put the plate closer. Don't look at me not caring. Fork. Eggs. Beat. How do I know when it's slightly beaten? You've had enough. So now. Now you're going to pour your slightly beaten eggs into your beaten combined sugar mixture and then you have to beat that too just so much beating i don't have that many hands so unless you're gonna help beating use the spoon it might be a little bit more <laughs> it's like a salad <laughs> is that too much for you yeah i'm tired oh my goodness <laughs> assistant that look done Beautiful. You have your empty pie shell, which you're going to pour your mixture into. Okay, ready? Go. Ooh, baby, look at that pour. I don't have enough 
hands for this. I right, see that. You don't need to pour that high up though. Well, that's what I said! Does it say pour from a height? Oh, no, but this is more fun. I like to see the pour. Teamwork. Jan. What? And then you take your one cup of pecans and you sprinkle it on top of your pour thing. I'm doing salt bay. <laughs> she doesn't like my humor. I think I'm funny. Like somebody does. Myself. Can you just love me like I love I, myself? I do love you. I tell you this in every video. In the same exact spirit of voice. I do love you. You just sound like you're fed up. And you know what? I'm just trying to keep you entertained during this hard time. Now, you take whatever this thing is. And you put it on the pie. You have no idea. No. <laughs> what is this for? To make sure it doesn't flow over. No. Okay, well, I don't know why. It stops the outer crust burning. And then your oven should be preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and you put your pie in there for 50 to 60 minutes, which means we are putting it in for how long, Mom? How long? I don't know. I don't make pies. We're going to put it in for 50 and then check on it. 50 minutes. Okay, usually we do it in between the two times. I don't... 55. The door's going to open. Okay, you have a lot of anger in your little body. And you need to stop it. Oh, it shakes. Jiggle, jiggle. My pecan pie overflowed because clearly I am not a baker. Yes. The baking sheet was warped so it overflowed, but the point is it's a beautiful pie. That is the end of this segment of Baking with Jay. Mom's making muffins. That is not going to be filmed unless you want to see it, and then it'll be too late. It'll be too, too late, and we'll make another batch some other time. Bye. Say bye. Bye.